Hello everyone and welcome back to Technically Unsure, where I'm not really sure what I'm doing technically. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. So today is one of those days where, you know, I kind of treat myself to something a little bit luxury. I spoil myself, kind of. So I got something a little bit expensive that is not really necessary. I just found it to be super cool. So hopefully from the images and the ad that I saw, it was looking awesome. So I'm using other products from this company. The company I'm talking about is JBC. So I have their whole soldering, you know, station and I have multiple tools and everything from JBC. So anyway, I just got an ad a while ago and I saw something, it was so interesting. So I ordered it. So this thing is this. Okay, this is, as it says, PSS multi-axis rotative PCB support. I don't think support is a good word in here. I don't know, maybe they are calling it support, but I usually like a PCB holder, stuff like that I've heard. So anyway, this thing is, I believe 800 bucks. So yeah, I just received it. There is a manual that I don't need. And I just want to see, oh wow. I thought I'm gonna assemble this thing. So apparently they ship it. Okay, it's already assembled? Maybe not, maybe not. So let me take this layer by layer. That is a lot of packaging, honestly. But yeah, this is a little bit sensitive. Okay, so how does this get off? Okay, so, okay. I got it, I got it, I got it. I don't know what that is. We're gonna take a look at it together. So there is no assembly involved, I'm seeing. So let's put this aside and remove the packaging. So I just got this and this box. Let's see what is inside. Okay, an Allen key, which I don't need. All right, so you may ask like, what is this? Well, you obviously can tell now. This is a PCB holder, okay? And it is very fancy and does have a lot of features. Let's say you want to repair a board and solder parts, like I do sometimes replacing capacitors and the old boards, right? Well, I'm looking at it now. <laughs> it looks a little bit smaller than I expected. Hopefully I will be able to still put a little bit larger motherboards on this. But yes, it is basically a PCB holder, but let me show you it's cool features so this is going to be kind of a short video so there is a button on each side when you press it it releases the thing next to it i think so because i was yeah so did you see that so let me put it back again and yeah it goes like this if you want to make it taller you hold the button it pulls up okay and then you let go the button and it stays that way so let me make all of those equal and there is a three steps basically three heights one two three so i put all three on that number three but it's a little bit inconvenient but you have to watch your fingers when you're holding it you have to hold it by these two sides and make sure you're not touching this because as soon as you touch this again it's gonna free up these and it's gonna go back okay so that's one the other thing is rotation so if you hold i guess no not that one this one yeah here so if you hold this one, it frees up the 360 and now I can rotate the board, okay? And I can put the board here, hold this, rotate it, leave it, it locks in. It, it doesn't move anymore. So if you want a real solid station, I think we should eliminate the height. It's a little bit shaky when it's on the high side. Now let me go down. Yeah, 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 this is better. So it doesn't shake anymore. And if you hold this down, Oh yeah, that's very smooth. And can you see the gears? You see the gears over there? So it is all gears around, like the teeth for the gear. So it's metal and once it locks in, ah, it really locks in, okay? And the other thing is, let's say the board is here, you can pick it up and put it backwards. That's so cool. Let me grab some board. I will be right back. One eternity later. Okay, so I found this banana pie from one of the older videos that we did together. So you can lift it and rotate it. Okay, that's one of the few. Oh, there is by the way, this. Okay, so that's the button. So this button makes it tighter. So what we can do is, there you go. Okay, yeah, so that is locked in. And Let's say this way, I wanna work on this, right? So you work on it. Okay, hold on, let me make this a little bit 
sit better okay here no let me see is this better well it's not really fitting exactly but i can move these around as well okay yeah so we can move these around okay now that's better okay so this is the only part that's a little bit i guess i can say analog it's a manual the other ones like all the button but this particular one is you know you have to turn the thing around okay let me push these other two away okay i just need the four i'm gonna open this up can put this in i guess see this whole side is covered with these io stuff i can put it this way maybe but let's see yeah this is better this is better okay okay that's better so what i can do is i can bring this over here lock that down bring this part over here lock that down lock this down and bring this to this corner and this corner okay and lock that down and push okay yeah there you go okay so you put the board in here let's say and what you can do is you can uh lift it up and how do i lock it in oh yeah 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 let me show you that mechanism as well <laughs> okay first let me make that a little bit tighter let me go back push it in a bit harder okay that is also a support part where you can hold the board up okay i don't need it but i'm gonna harden these push that in okay what you can do is there is a notch over here see you can do everything without even reading the manual the good product design okay so let me put that in so you can lift it up and yep there you go look at that there is a 25 degrees 35 45 and 55 degrees so you can even adjust the angle to exactly what you want so you put this i guess the other side as well to this side there you go okay now we are at 25 degrees look at that isn't that beautiful and now i can basically turn this like i'm working on it turn it this side work on it turn it to the back this side whatever right I can work on it easily and when I'm done with this side let's say I want to replace something on the other side I can uh, remove those and flip it over beautiful right and I can now work on this side so yeah that is awesome I just saw this <laughs> I said I gotta order this I don't know why it's a little bit expensive as then I'm saying it's overkill for me right if you are working in a soldering uh, you know factory manufacturing PCBs yes uh, repairing a lot of PCBs yes absolutely go for it this is definitely a worthy investment for me definitely an overkill <laughs> definitely an overkill you know i have one of these let me show you example i have one of these right you just put the pcb that's what i'm using mainly for soldering stuff and desoldering and there i have some other versions i have also this one so you can put the pcb and just resize it and make it smaller tighter and bigger but that's all analog you see yeah forget about that who needs that i wanted this so this is so much cooler than i thought and it's easy to use and we didn't even take a look at the manual so yeah the other features that i might miss let's see is there anything else in the manual now let's take a look at it yes we got the height correctly we got the angle correctly and you put the pcb here yeah he also moves the two away and this manual and then we put this in the middle exactly like how i did exactly see 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 exactly with the four and puts them and squeezes them just exactly okay where it's using the allen key so the clamp knobs can be loosened and tightened by hand or with the allen key why would i need this oh so if you want to really squeeze it like that okay so you see over here these holder what is this calling knobs whatever so these knobs are allen key so we can use this to like really squeeze it in there i don't think i need really you just do it with your hand see see i just wanted to pick it up and i press the button yeah when your hand got used to it so you have to do it like four fingers yeah you have to lift it this way if you touch the middle 
boom, boom, boom. Yeah, all four legs drop. So yeah, we have to put it this way. Another thing, cool thing, I it just came to my mind when I'm, let's say, soldering. That just came to my mind. Xbox or something. So I can flip it over, heat it from the back, and let me see. I have to lift it. Yeah, so lift it up. Yeah, my hand now goes in under. So I can, with a tweezer like that, right? I can hold the cap, heat it from the side, and pull it from the other side. Or just it will fall off. Like, it is nice. It's really, really nice. Yeah, as I said, if you want to do a lot of soldering, go for it. It is uh, 800 bucks from JBC. This is the company. And they have a lot of stuff. So that, as I said, I'm using, yeah, here you go, the photo flipping thing and uh yeah so that's how you do it spring clamps okay so spring clamps what is that oh did you see that so here's the deal so you put this in now it's in right it doesn't move okay now let's say you have two banana pies which i actually do i have another one right here okay so what you can do let's say you're done with this you want to work on the same board exact same thing this one has a spring so you go back and you pull it out you take the next one put it in without touching anything wow that's so cool that's amazing i really love it again <laughs> absolutely overkill my wife hopefully won't watch this video so i paid 800 dollars for this but yeah it is i mean come on like 800 bucks for this I gotta treat myself, right? I don't gamble, so I buy these stuff for myself. So that's the excuse I make for the making bad decisions. But yeah, this is awesome. Honestly, this is definitely overkill, but I really love it. I just wanted to share it with you guys. And I'll probably just keep playing with it for a while. And now I'm gonna look for the excuse to solder, desolder something. Maybe now it's time to, for me to repair one of those uh, Xboxes that I didn't repair. So anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> I just wanted to share this with you guys. Hope you guys like this one. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.